I don't like the feeling of it. I don't like the feeling of it. I want this to be over. Okay. <laughs> Can we get my... Okay. <laughs> I'm like so excited. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Morgan M. Steele. I'm an author and today I'm opening the Monster High Skultimate Secrets Fearidescent Dolls. This is not a kid's channel. I know I'm unboxing toys today and I keep having to make this disclaimer. I know I'm unboxing toys today. This is not a kid's channel. This is not my usual content. Um, I just want to do this because it's fun for me. So if you have children, may maybe don't have them watch this channel. I, I can't even promise my language will be clean for this video. So. Um, I have Frankie and Claudine. These are the two that I wanted the most. Um, I have not seen Wave 1 anywhere. The first wave of the Sculptimate Secrets, I've not seen them anywhere because I want that Draculaura so much. She is so cute. But these two, like, blew me away. I thought they were fine, like, in line one. But line two, oh my god. This Claudine is, I believe, the prettiest one we have gotten. Look at her, like, her beautiful... I think this purple hair, like, suits her really well. Um, and the pictures I've seen. And then this Frankie is just, like, stunning. Like, I, I really love this color scheme for them. The, the blues and the, you know, the sparkly blues. Especially because they're blue in G3. <laughs> they were more green in G1. And there was a, um, like, an issue with Universal who made the Frankenstein movie and, like, made Frankenstein green. And they had a deal with them the first time around, but this time they, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they didn't want to like pair back up or if Universal wouldn't let them or whatever. But anyway, Frankie is blue now instead of green. But I think this really, really suits them a whole lot. So yes, for those of you who don't know, I am a Monster High girly. Um, I write books. <laughs> I'm an author. But um, I, yes, I've been a Monster High girly since 2012, I believe, is when I started collecting. Yeah, I love the dolls. I love that they're making a comeback now. I have a bunch of um, Wave 1 dolls. Um, from G3, but I haven't opened those yet either just because I just finally set up my shelf that I'm gonna put them on So it's been like a space issue, but um, I want to open these two because these are the Frankie and Claudine that I want to display So <laughs> really excited. Oh, I need water for this, don't I? Yeah, anywho I don't know which one to start with. I guess I will start with Frankie because I'm more excited about Claudine So <laughs> put her over there um, yeah, so as you can see from the packaging, it's like a coffin-shaped locker. It's got all these locks. Um, I know they come with keys, and then you use the keys to unlock the different doors with all the accessories in it. Um, I'm very excited. I don't know if these ones have stands, because the other dolls I don't believe have stands anymore. G1 came, always came with a stand and a brush, and I don't think G3 has come with brushes either, so I've been using my G1 brushes that I still have. Um, so that's been fun, but yeah, it would be nice to have doll stands, um, as, as a collector, as an adult collector, it would be nice to have doll stands. That said, let's unbox Frankie. Little water bowl, um, it's shaped like a lemon, I got it at Target, and then I have scissors, and I also have a box cutter in my room if I need it. I don't know how difficult this is going to be to open, um, but yeah, when I went to Target, previously they've only had, like, the first wave dolls, and then they've also had the creepover stuff for like ever. And then I took like a wrong turn down an aisle, and it wasn't with the Monster High stuff, but they had um, all of these Skultimate Secrets dolls, the Wave 2 Fear Descents, and they also had um, Monster Ball, which I didn't think was coming out for like a while, so I will probably go back for those. Maybe I'll do an unboxing of those, I guess we'll see. Especially, you know, with the strike going on, I'm still trying to figure out what content I can make, and this is, you know, doll content is fine. I can't talk about the Nickelodeon show, I believe. I will have to- because I know some animation is not struck and some animation is struck, but I know Paramount is one of the struck companies, so I may just not talk about that to be safe. Um, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, support the strikers. It oh my goodness, okay. This is very exciting to me. So we have this locker, um, I'm assuming the ghoul is in here, and then all of these doors, so we've got the dark blue one, light blue, pastel blue, and then this one is like the, the clear with the glitter on it. I'm not like, oh my god, they are so pretty. Like I really just, oh my god, they're face up, they're lipstick, it's like silver lipstick. 
Okay, they're like tied in. I'm gonna free them. <laughs> Pull them out and we can take a better look, but oh my god, they are stunned. Oh, their leg is sparkly! Oh, do they have those little things? Okay, this is gonna be hard, I think. Because they have those little things in the back of their head. Uh oh. And then we gotta pull their hair. Oh my god! Uh, they're stunning. Holy crap. Okay, so I see one key. Is it just the same key for all of them, or are there more keys? I found instructions. <laughs> okay, so here's the locker. So fun. Yeah, they are stunning. This was a good choice, because the other Frankie I have, the other G3 Frankie I have, is the one that came in the two-pack with Deuce, um, because I wanted Deuce, and I didn't want to get the Amazon exclusive one. God, they've got these, like sheer sleeves, silver lipstick, like literally so pretty. Oh my god, the boots, the the iridescent leg, like oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so pretty. They have sparkly eye makeup too. Um, and then of course this skirt is gorgeous. Yeah, I have one key. This is what was in there. And it's silver. And it came with instructions. So I, again, I don't know, I thought it was supposed to come with more than one. But it looks like... Okay, it looks like the keys are in the other lockers. We love reading comprehension, so I'm gonna put it in the water. <laughs> From my understanding, you just, oh, it's sticky. Ooh, ooh. I, oh, it's coming off though. Maybe I should have grabbed a paper towel before doing this. Okay, so this is the dark blue one. This is cool. Um, I've never seen like a gimmick like this before. Keep checking my microphone light because I don't think it's going to tell me when it dies. <laughs> so, okay, I got some paper towel. So this one is the dark blue one. Very exciting. Um, Wow, okay, and then there's another little baggie in here, and I have scissors, okay, okay, cute, we have a skirt, a plaid skirt, and we've got this little, like, tube top with little lightning bolts on it, very cute, and a shawl, like a furry, furry wrap thing for them, and then, of course, we have another key. It's exciting. It's like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> it's turning the water silver as well. It's like turning the water all like silver and shiny. Okay. I do not like the texture, I will say. It's a little icky. This is for the light blue one. I wonder if they're just going to be in order, you know? Ooh. Okay. This is a bigger one. I wonder what's in here. So I knew like this stuff was gonna be in it, like the little accessories, but I'm curious to see what else is in there. Oh, they're like papery bags, that's good. I like was worried it was all gonna be plastic. Um, I know there is a lot of plastic in here, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Okay, we have some earrings. What do these say? Zap. Zap, zap. Cute, cute little earrings. And then um, we have the crown. The Lady Liberty looking crown, and then a little like choker necklace set. So that is very cute. I think I'm just gonna put all the accessories over here. Okay, yeah, they are just going in order. That's kind of boring. But the lighter blue key. Alrighty. Okay, it feels like there's like a lot in this bag. There's like a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Ooh, okay, we have a keychain for all of our keys and this one isn't covered in the silver stuff. I really appreciate that. Okay, and boots and nothing else. Okay, so yeah, we've got some black boots Oh, they already have shoes on, though. It's neat that they give you multiple parts, because these... It's my mom's clock. 
So you can like use these to, to restyle them and to style like other Frankies you have. I really appreciate extra accessories. And then finally, we have the last door. This little one at the bottom, okay. Oh, a purse. Cute accessories, oh my god, uh huh. Oh my god, my printer scares the crap out of me. It just did that in the last video I edited too. Makeup brush, little like makeup palette or like a compact or something. Oh, it opens! Oh my god, yeah, so it's a compact, it's got like a little eyeshadow for Frankie. And then, um, what's this? Oh, like a little ice cream pop thing. It's giving very, um, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> 358 over two days. Um, yeah, some a little sea salt ice cream moment made me very cute. I love that the G3 dolls all come with food accessories. I think that is so cute. G1, we would get a couple of accessories here and there, but we wouldn't get anything like this, you know, where it's just like so many accessories. Okay, so I'm going to put them on this keychain. <laughs> this is so fun. There we go. Yeah, that is so cute. That is very cute. I love that. Um, and I love that, like, this is such a neat set piece. Like, if you're... You have a whole big like shelf for the dolls like that is so nice um so i'm gonna dress up frankie and i will be right back um i switched out their boots but i kept their top and their skirt on just because i like this outfit just a little bit more than the one they came with um the crown doesn't stay on that well i will say um it yeah it's giving um raven queen's crown i always have trouble with that one too i might have to like rubber band this one on so it stays um, because that is my favorite part of the outfit, that's why I got this doll, is because they're giving Lady Liberty, <laughs> like, I love that. The purse, this little purse, opens up, um, and so I put, um, their little makeup palette and brush in there, and they both fit, and then they're holding their little ice cream. I love this doll, um, I think they are very, very gorgeous. I have heard that the G3 dolls, like, stand okay? Without a stand, maybe. Yeah, I would I would like to see them come with doll stands again. Yeah, because I'm having some issues here. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is uh this is the finished look. I'm gonna do like all the accessories and then um I will show you uh, we'll skip to Claudine and we'll start opening up Claudine. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, so pretty. I have fresh water for dipping the keys, and um, I haven't opened it yet, I just took the plastic off on the outside. So, again, love the presentation, love the coffin shape locker, so cute, such a cute idea. We're gonna see her for the first time. I love the locker designs also. Oh my god! So, I'm gonna be so real with you right now. Um, <laughs> Claudine? Her wave one look for G3 really did not impress me. I do not think, like, the pale purple that they've stuck her with is suiting her. I don't think that lighter brown is suiting her. In G1, she had, like, darker brown hair. She would wear, like, darker darker purple colors, and I think it suited her a lot more. And so I, I got creep over Claudine. I didn't get wave one Claudine, but I did want this one really, really bad because I think her hair is so, so, so pretty. Um, and I, I do think that in person. I do think her hair is so, so, so pretty. Um, so I'm very glad that I got her. She's the one that I want to put on display on my shelf. Um, because I have all my G1 ghouls, and then below them I want to put all the G3 ghouls, like, in the same order. So it's like, like a then and now kind of thing, and it'd be really sweet. Um, and I'll show you that once I have it, like, set up. Finally, but I have to open my other G3 dolls. <laughs> so, yes, um stunning oh my god her makeup is so pretty she has like sparkly purple makeup she has this gorgeous gorgeous purple hair she has um sparkling purple lipstick to go with her eye look um and she's got like constellations on her shirt she has these like shiny purple shorts and of course the key and these like fur looking boots they're plastic but they have like a fur texture to them so yeah i'm gonna bust her out of here <laughs> and i realized off camera 
these are the first G3 dolls I'm opening. Like I, I've had them for so long. I've had them since October and I just haven't like opened them yet. I'm not an in the box collector. So it really has been killing me to just like keep them in the box. But um, these are so nice actually. Like this is my first look at G3 and that just kind of hit me. Like, like I said, while I was off camera, I was like, oh, like these are the first ones I'm opening. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, she is so gorgeous. So her hair is kind of two-toned. She has like these street. It's definitely going to be brushed out. Um, definitely going to need to be brushed out. I can get my brush, but it's in the back. It's like split very, very strongly down the middle. Um, oh my God. She has like these, these streaks of like darker, like orchid purple. And then the rest is like this gorgeous lavender color. And it is so pretty. It is so pretty on her. Oh my god. Yeah, because like I said, wave one Claudine was really just not doing it for me. I liked the, the rest of the ghouls. I thought they were all great. And I loved Claudine in G1. It just like, it felt like G3 Claudine was not like giving the same energy. And I know it's a reboot and I know it's like different and it's a multiverse and all of the characters are just a little bit different than they were before. But I was really disappointed um, with, you know, wave one. Oh, she has little baby hairs. Oh my god, they're painted on. And that's really interesting. She has like fur, like sculpted onto the side of her face. I don't know if you can see. Her nose is so cute. I didn't know they did that with G3. That is adorable. Um, and I really, really, really like her face up on this doll um, more than the other Claudine I have. I think she looks gorgeous. I just, I really love her eyes and everything about her face. I wonder. So, yeah, she does. Okay, she has like fur sculpted onto her arms. I heard that they did that with G3, but I didn't know. Because the G1 ghouls don't really have any like interesting textures to their skins. They did that like later on, but like the, the first few waves did not. They were just kind of, you yeah. know. We have the first key. It is once again silver. It is once again getting a dip in the pool. It's giving very speak now. <laughs> coming off I think this is like one of the middle purples right because like look at this I think I think this one goes to this one um huh. okay so they're not all in the same order that's kind of nice um that's really interesting oh okay we have accessories we have a choker that says howl we have a key we have our little headband and then these cute earrings. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, so these I'm assuming go in her piercings on her ears. That is awesome. This little choker. Very cute. And the moon headband. Yeah, this is the other reason I wanted this doll is because the headband is so cute. So that's really interesting. And then I don't know how to get this on her head. I mean, I guess that works. I will have to experiment with how to style that. I kind of thought I would just be able to like swish this around the water and it would come off, but I'm having to like rub it with my fingers like a lot, a lot more than I thought. Yeah. Like I said, I do not like this part of the process. I just, it's very slimy feeling to me. Okay. Yeah, so this is the darker one. So we're going back up to the top. I've got this. I do like that they're paper bags though and not even more plastic. <laughs> so again we have a furry shawl thing like Frankie has. Cute top! Oh my god it's like galaxy print and it's got a wolf on it. Very cute. I like the like astrological theme they went with for Claudine. I think it's very cute because um, you know she has like little constellations on her shirt. I think that's adorable. And then we have this like leopard print skirt, cheetah print. I don't know. Again, very cute, cute little secondary outfit. I think I would maybe pair this top with these shorts if I wanted to not do the sleeve. I think that'd be cute. Or you could even do it like right on top of the other one and have the mesh sleeves underneath. Up to you, but yeah. And like I said about Frankie's headband, the second I set them on the table, it fell off and I was just like, ah. so it, yeah, you really will probably need to rubber band that. Claudine's headband, however, like pretty sturdy. I really don't think it's going to fly off. I think it fits pretty well. So that's nice. Another key. 
I don't like the feeling of it. I don't like the feeling of it. I want this to be over. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> good. I really like this shade of purple though. This this one, so pretty. Yeah, and then we just kind of, Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so we have the keychain again. We have this, the little see-through key at the end. Um, the keychain, like I said, and then we have these cute little, like, platform singles for her. Ooh, they got moon phases on them! And they're, like, see-through. Shiny. Those are really cute. I didn't know these came with this one. Very cute. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, yeah, again, we got really tiny accessories. There's like this little, I don't know what kind of brush this is, to be honest. It looks a little bit like a toothbrush, but I'm gonna guess that it's not a toothbrush. Um, but it is cute. And then, oh, we have a bag. That is adorable. Some little rectangular clutch with a wolf on it. Very nice. And then, oh my god, a little ice cream cone! Oh my god, it has ears. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a little, I, I can't tell if it's supposed to be a wolf or a cat, but it is so cute. Look at the ice cream. It looks like a cupcake, but I'm gonna guess it's not a cupcake. It might be like a blush thingy. It really does just look like a cupcake to me, but it's got like a little moon thing on it. Yes, it does! I love when little things fit inside the other little things. That is very helpful. So, that is nice. I'm gonna dress her up. I'll be back in a second. Bonus, um, here's that icky swirly water with all the key stuff in it. That's so fun. Um, I dressed her up. I switched her top. I do like the t-shirt a little bit better. I think it looks better on her. Um, I switched her shoes out. I put the little fur thing on and she's got her little accessories. She is so adorable. So beautiful. There's those shoes. Yeah, I forgot that G3 has chest articulation. Um, I took off her, her other top to change into this one and there's like a line underneath the top half of, half of her body and you can like, like move their bodies around. I, G1 did not do that. G1 was just a solid piece of plastic. I, you know, I've heard mixed things about the Monster High G3 hair. I personally have no clue how to reroute, so that will not be something I will be attempting. I will be sucking it up. Her, like, it's fine. Like, it is, it's not as soft as I expected it would be, but it's, like, fine. And I don't know the difference between the types of hair. I know one of them is called Polly. That's all I know. So, yeah, but I, I love her accessories. I love all, like I said, I love all of the little food stuff that they come with. I think that is so, 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 so cute. So cute. I love these two. Um, I think they are adorable. So, this is so fun. This is, like, I like putting them on the chain, on the keychain. Very nice. Very nice. Very satisfying. <laughs> uh, those are my thoughts on the Sculptimate Secrets, the Furidescent line. One thing I forgot to note with Claudine, um, I tried to put her earrings in, these little, the purple donut looking things. I tried to put them in. They're a little too big for her piercings. Um, I did get one in, but it was like stretching the hole a little bit, so I didn't want to risk doing any damage to her ears, um, so I took it back out. Also, I really didn't like how it looked. <laughs> I kind of wish they had given her like gold earrings to match like the gold moons on her headband. I feel like that would have maybe been a better choice. Um, yeah, I just don't really like how these ones look, but these are, these are my ghouls. <laughs> um, these are my ghouls, my skeleton crew, a little strange, but so are you. I, I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I'm very happy with both of them. I love their looks. I love all the colors they chose. I love all the shiny stuff. I think it's very fun. And the, the gimmick, the gimmick was fun too, even though I didn't like the texture of the keys. I thought that was fun. Um, but yeah, are you collecting Monster High G3? Did you get the Skultimate Secrets dolls, Wave 1 or Wave 2? Um, let me know what you thought of them, What you, which ones you like, which ones you have. 
And let me know all that in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more content. May or may not be doll related content, I don't know. I keep saying like, this is not my usual content, but I did just post like a Monster High Boots review, so I don't know, maybe it will become my usual content. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Frankie. Thank you for watching this video. Um, have a lovely rest of your day, and as always, take your meds, drink your water, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Frankie falling down almost made me forget my outro.